welcome back to Let's Play <coughs> Unavowed, and we are in uh, Chinatown. Yes. Do you have any stories about Chinatown, Ming Den? I remember the smell. They called this Canal Street, but it was less a canal and more of a sewer. Industrial waste from the local tanneries and breweries. I found it absolutely vile, as did the family of naiads nesting in Collect Pond. Did you say a family of naiads? Yes. I was friendly with them. A boy named Coronis in particular. When their home became polluted, I tried to convince them to move. But they were stubborn. They refused to leave. So, they died. Oh dear. Decades later, the pond became so repugnant it was drained and filled. Then a prison was built over it. Oh dear. This was centuries ago, but I still remember. Somebody must. Sorry to hear about your friend. That is appreciated, but I bear no ill will to the city for what happened. Time always pushes forward. You either move with it, or you break. My old friends chose to break. Any idea what we to do next? We only just arrived. We should investigate. Yep, figure you. Yes. We will talk soon, I am sure. Okay. Hey, Vicky Santina, that you? Oh, you're a cop. Hey, Sam. Long time no see. Yeah, it's been a while. You two know this each is other? Sam Durkin. He's a senior detective at the Midtown South Precinct. I'm just a guy eating noodles, as far as you're concerned. I'm Halls. Uh huh. Nice to meet you, I guess. Now, do you mind? I'm trying to eat here. Nasty night to be eating outside. Yeah, but I can't smoke inside, so what am I gonna do? Food here any good? Eh, the food's okay. I mostly come for wings. You come for wings? Look up. Good company. <laughs> See what I mean? She's kept this place going for 30 years. Figure she must be doing something right. You're just saying that because I let you smoke. Yeah, that too. Sorry about yeah, Whatever. Can I talk to you some more? <sighs> Was, what's that lottery ticket you have for I want the lottery. No big deal. No big deal? It saved your ass. I'll kick your ass. Shut up. Winning the lottery saved you? I had some debts. Figured what the hell. So I bought a ticket. So Gee. would you win? Fifty grand. It was enough. You wanna eat something or what? You don't like talking about winning the lottery, do you? What's there to say? It was almost a decade ago. <coughs> See you around. You wanna eat something? I'm here. Oh, we can. It gets a bit quiet. Oh, we don't go inside. That's... Okay. Let's continue going in this direction. Smiling fruit grocery. Baskets of fruit barely protect from the elements by a leaky awning. I wouldn't have them outside there anyway. Dried fruit, herbal remedies, nothing you need. Several rows of lottery tickets just waiting to be filled in. Fresh faced young man watches you closing uh, closely. Hey, you guys need anything? Just looking around. Hey, looking spree. You want to do anything else? I'm here. You run this Kinda. place? It's my dad's store, technically. I fill in sometimes. Of course, he's pushing 70 these days, so it's more often than it used to be. Wait, your dad's 70. I guess that's possible. You're described as a fresh-faced young man, so I'm guessing you're in your 20s? I'm Halls, by the way. This is Mandana and Vicky. Doug Wang. Nice to meet you guys. You sell lottery tickets? Like they say, it could be you. If you want to give it a try, let me know. Back See at you. Okay. We're going to end up buying a lottery ticket, aren't we? We don't even know what the problem here is yet. The good old Manhattan Detention Complex, although everyone calls it the Tombs. Did my share of prisoner transfers to and from here, back when I was in uniform. Good times. Okay. Anything to look at? Road gets slightly noisier this way. Will this just take us back? Yes. Okay. I'm wondering if we're on a circle. Entrance to Manhattan Detention Complex, colloquially known as the Tombs. Side street ducks under the bridge towards Mott Street. 
Bridge of size. It connects the prison to the nearby courthouse. Let's see what goes on in here. Keep your hands in view at all times. Shiny convex mirror reflects the entire lobby. Yeah, you could keep your hands in view at all times. Heavy duty security door leads deeper into the prison. This we won't be able to get through. Watch. Um, the exit's the other way? Yep. Okay. Hey, what can I do for you? Wait, Vicky? Is that you? Yeah, hey son. Damn, blast from the past. What brings you to the tomb? Oh, you know, stuff. <laughs> sure, I get it. I know all about stuff. So you know Vicky, if every cop knows Vicky. Uh, yeah, I used to babysit her kid brother. How is Donnie doing these days anyway? Good. He just made uniform. No kidding. He was always a good kid. Yeah, still is. Has anything weird been happening in the area? This is the tombs, lady. Weird is our bread and butter. You're gonna have to be a bit more specific. Okay. Yeah, see you. And hey, Vicky? Yeah? Glad you're doing okay. Yeah, sure. Right back at ya. I mean, she doesn't look like she's doing okay. I mean, she is, but whenever she... The, the, the portrait they have of her is very... Uh, not getting enough sleep. Again, so is the Eli's. Okay, let's try this. Yep, here we go. Eh, it's only money. If you love something, set it free. What the hell? Um, for real? That's it? She... I guess... I ate here? The food here must have made quite an impression for your brain to remember it. At least we know you were here, which is more than we knew before. And the joint's all boarded up now. I don't suppose that's a coincidence. No, oh, I'm hungry. Let's go. Yes. Onward. Let's look around here. The door is large and impenetrable. A scattering of English and Chinese graffiti has been scrawled on the walls. Dragon tree. Lantern swings slightly in the wind. Interesting. Too high. Huh. Locked. Figures. Um. Can you get to I that? I cannot reach it from down here. Okay, cool. <laughs> this is... Yeah. Uh, yeah. The bullet just went right through the lantern. Okay. <laughs> Good grief. Responsible drop the gun use. Okay. Um, Dragon spirals its way down the right pillar. Interesting. Exit. What about this one? Huh. Leads back. To, yeah, this is a big circle. Okay. Let's ask about the restaurant. Anything about the Dragon Tree restaurant around the corner? It was a nice place. Nicer than here. We didn't deserve what happened. What happened Stuff at the Dragon I Tree? I don't want to talk about while people are eating. Okay. You want to eat something? I'm here. What about you? Do you know about the Dragon Tree? Hey, Santina. How's your dad doing these days? He's good. He still talks about kicking your butt in the Inter Precinct baseball game. Jesus. That was 20 years ago. He's got a long memory. The cook really won the lottery? Yeah, it was a while ago. Ten, maybe fifteen years. Lucky break. Got her out of a bind. What kind of bind? Not my place to say. Do you know what happened at the dragon tree around the corner? I don't know much. It wasn't my case. Come on, Sam. You gotta know something. Maybe I do, maybe I don't. But it's not my case, so it's not my problem. And from what I hear, you've got enough problems, Santina. 
Are you sure you can't tell me anything about the dragon like tree? I said, not my case, not my problem. Okay. Yeah, whatever. We know a couple other people in the area that's over this way. Do you know about the dragon tree? Hey, you guys need anything? Are you familiar with the dragon tree restaurant around the corner? Yeah. Why? Do you know what happened there? Um, yeah, it was like three months ago. You guys with the police? Because I've already been grilled by them like a dozen times. We're not cops, just concerned citizens. Something hinky went down here and we're trying to figure out what. Can you... Huh, I knew it. I friggin' knew it. There's no way it happened the way they said it did. Vicky, can you talk anything, like anything... Can you talk any more like a cop? Just, yeah, thank you. What happened? They said that Kevin Huang killed his parents. Shot them, I think. That's what they're saying, but I never believed it. Why not? Because I know Kevin. I know his whole family. He wouldn't do anything, so... He just wouldn't do it is all. You know Kevin's family? Well, yeah. The Huangs run the Dragon Tree restaurant. Or, um, ran it. I mean, our families did business together for like 50 years. Mr. Huang bought all his raw ingredients from us. I don't want to brag, but you're the reason the restaurant was so popular. But I practically grew up with Kevin. He wouldn't do this. I, I didn't believe it then. I don't believe it now. We're going to have to talk to him, aren't we? Because he adores his mom and dad. He practically worships them. Plus, he's a colossal wimp. He's ten times smarter than me, but the kid wouldn't hurt a fly, let alone his parents. Back See at you. Do we want to go back and talk to these people first? Before we go into the tombs? Santina, I hear you're a civilian now? Kinda. Don't tell me you've gone private. Kinda. Right, right. None of my business. Or oh, she's still doing the, her thing, just with a different outfit. Do you know anything about Kevin Wong? Not much. I know he's locked up in the tombs for killing his parents. From what I hear, the case is open and shut. Like I said. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Cool. This is making me hungry, though. It's been a while since I had good Chinese. Okay. So we're going to have to speak to Kevin. I haven't run across a ghost yet. You know, Mandana, most cops take a break when they're grieving. Just saying. I have done my grieving. I will be fine. I hear you, but the cops make it a rule. Not a suggestion, and there's a reason for that. You'll do nobody any favors if you're distracted. I am not distracted. I have never been more focused. Right? Fine. Forget I said anything. Let's talk to Sam. Hey, Vicky. You still hanging out at Vinny's? Yeah, living there. You and every cop on Staten Island. No, I'm uh, actually living there, in the basement. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Do you know what happened to the Dragon Tree restaurant? He doesn't. Not exactly a secret. The couple that runs the place was shot to death by their kid. It's insane, right? The Dragon Tree has been around for 60 years. Now this happened. Shame, but Peking Duck was kind of amusing. Is there anything else you can tell us? Maybe something that was left out of the public record? And just why are you asking? We're looking into what happened. Under whose authority? Uh, what do you mean? Come on, Vicky. The case is closed and you're not a cop anymore. So who are you looking into it for? I can't tell you that. Sorry. Sorry. The case is closed as far as the cops are concerned. Uh, are you sure you can't tell us anything about what happened to the restaurant? Like I said, the case is closed. As far as the department is concerned, there's nothing to tell. Is Kevin Wong yeah, here? he's here. Can we talk to him? Are any of you on the approved visitor list? Have no, no but idea. does that matter? Kevin is... Look, I don't know all the details, but his files say he's under special observation due to psychological problems. His visitors are closely monitored. You need to be on an approved list before you can see him. Sorry. Really, son? You'd pull this shit with me? Ain't nothing personal, Vicky. You know that. How can we get approved? Well, if you like, I can submit a request. 
It needs to be approved by the Psychic Award. Which will take forever. Take weeks. The only way is to have a ranking officer vouch for you. Ranking meaning detective or higher. Fine. Call my big brother Mitch. Yeah. I go to the warden with that and he'll laugh me out of his office after he fires me. Get a ranking officer who isn't a blood relative to vouch for you. Otherwise, I can't help you. Okay. Yeah. See you. Let's... Do we want to go see if anything else gets provoked over here at the at the restaurant? Mm. Too high. Can you climb up? You can. There is something in here. Some kind of paper. So what is it? See for yourself. It's a lottery it's ticket. It's a lottery ticket. I guess demons need cash, just like everybody else. Perhaps, but this ticket was deliberately dropped. Yeah, that's the bit that don't make sense. We know more than we did before, at any rate. Let us press on. Received item, lottery ticket. Okay, that's just looking at Could talk to you, see if we got any new options. What? See you you around. Eat some? Okay, what about you? Uh huh. You'd like to speak to Kevin Long. No, go and speak to him. You know how this works, Sam. We need authorization. So, go get it. That could take weeks. And even then, they might reject us. Can't you, you know, speed up the process for us? Look, Santina, I can't play favorites, and you know it. Unless you can give me good reason why you need to see the kid, then I can't help you. We really need to speak like to I him. Said, I can't help you. Not unless you can give me a good reason. Yeah. Um, let's... A good reason. Please tell me. We're, we're going to have to bribe him, aren't we? Hey, looks like you bought a lotto ticket from us. Is there a problem? Can you tell me who bought this ticket? Sure, I can do that. Paper looks a bit weather worn, but the barcode should work. Huh? That's impossible. No way! Here, take it back. Is what? there a problem? No, but Kevin Huang bought this ticket. Back Let's at you. Okay. Gonna see if I can. Don't look like those numbers match. Don't know why you think they would either. Huh. Well, it could be you, I guess. If you ask me, you wasted your money. Uh huh. Like I said, I can't help. Yeah. Can? Are you interested? Stop! I don't wanna. You wanna eat? What happens if we do this? <laughs> Good luck, I guess. Okay, interesting. What if we talk to you without using the ticket? Hey, you got not back at you. Okay, no use. Detective Santina, I cannot help but notice your fingers. Twitch. Yes, toward your firearm. Are you on edge? Of course I'm on edge. Keeps me sharp. Lowers reaction time. Sometimes that extra second or two makes all the difference. Oh, uh, so it is by design. Interesting. What can I say? I like not getting killed. You live in an action fantasy version of police work. Okay, let's see what happens when we talk to you. You buy that from the Wang store? <laughs> I ain't judging. Okay. 
So, so they have nothing to do with it. I asked for it. You asked for it. Why? You've been outside lately? I'm sick of getting soaked on patrol. It's not terribly exciting in here, but it's dry. Should we can't tell us anything about what like happened? Like I said, the Yep, okay. Yeah. Cool. So you have nothing new to tell us. <clears throat> okay. Um Let's look around. Let's yes. see any idea what we should that do. That lottery ticket was purchased several months ago. I wonder if you won. Yeah, I'm yes. wondering the same thing. Hey, what's up? I'm wondering if that ticket you've got is a winner. Is there any way to check? I am also yeah. wondering. Back at you. Back at you. No way to check. Um, aha. Okay, it could be you. Yep. No fucking way. A winning lottery ticket? Indeed, for the fifty thousand dollar jackpot. That's a relatively small a shame jackpot. We keep it. I wasn't gonna say we should. That's fraud. There is that, and it would also attract attention. Why would it be fraud? Yeah. Picture in the paper with a giant check. We don't need that crap. Actually, I bought the ticket, so I won the jackpot. But why would anybody would throw away a winning Perhaps ticket? Perhaps it was not aware. But we are making too many assumptions. We need to learn why this ticket was purchased in the first place. Is this a good reason? Uh huh. Like I said. Yeah. Huh. You ask. <laughs> C rating from the Board of Health is clearly visible for all to see. If I talk to you, can we talk about the... Hey, you... This ticket you checked me, it's winning ticket. For real? It is the truth. But that's Kevin's ticket, right? I mean, I checked the system. He definitely bought it. That is also the truth. Right. The ticket's registered to Kevin, not you. So don't even think about cashing it in. Don't that worry. As far as I'm concerned, this ticket is just a piece of evidence. Hmm. Okay, then. That's... Thought... The how the lotteries work, as far as I know. Yeah. Yeah, that doesn't make any sense, does it? I mean, who the hell does that? Win the lottery and then commit murder? That's crazy. It doesn't prove anything. Not yet. It doesn't matter. I knew it. Kevin's innocent. Whatever you guys are doing, keep doing it. Back at ya. Hmm. What happens if I use Vicky on you? I'll let you do the talking. Oh. Nothing. Um. Okay. I'll be right back when I've finished eating these crackers. And, uh, not, so I'm not cracking into the microphone. And this is a good point for the end of the video anyway. So see you in a moment. <laughs> 